Hi guys, welcome to Off the Tent, the beer reviews. My name is Chris, and today we're not even going to do a beer review. I'm going to drink a beer while I'm talking to you guys. But today, and it's going to be this one from Counterpart Brewing, just was there recently, and I'll tell you why I was there recently. This is going to be my review of the 2024 Beer Tuber get together that just happened over the weekend, and I had such a fucking wonderful time. Oh, there's going to be swearing. Oh, there's going to be swearing because it was just fucking awesome. I want to get in this beer port and then we'll start talking about the whole events of the of the entire weekend. We'll throw some pictures up, some video up, you know, kind of documenting the weekend so that everyone watching that wasn't there can be jealous and be like, fuck, wish I was there. Okay, first of all, let's talk about who was there. All right, so I got a list in front of me, and you're not going to see me read the list because you're going to see the logos go up on the screen. We had Shane's Craft Beer Reviews, obviously. We also had the Alkanauts were there. Dave's TV, Brian the Beer Snob, Nutmeg 2 Palmetto, Ginger Yeti Road Beers, A Beer a Day with TK, One Flight Down, Imperfectly Me Crafts, Rod J, Beer Ventures, PA Brew News, The Beer Patrol, and of course, me off the 10th, and we also had Todd and Shannon. Yes, they were all there. Everyone fucking got together. Fuck, it was such an incredibly awesome weekend. I It started, I think Rod J showed up on Wednesday, and uh, I was working afternoon, so I really couldn't get a hold of anyone and hang out with anyone because I work too late, except for Friday. So Friday, the first day, everyone got together. They all went to Taps Brewing in Niagara Falls. That was um, that was uh, an experience, I guess, for the guys that were coming in from Canada going to Taps. I mean, it's it's Taps. If you if you live here, you know it's you know what it's all about. But that was the first time I got to meet Rajay. It was fucking awesome. And I got to meet Mallory. I got to meet all the guys. I was a little bit nervous, to be honest with you, going in there. Except for meeting Paul. I've met Paul before. Obviously, Shane and Ray. Um, but meeting the other guys, I was a little bit... I don't know. I, was, I wasn't... I was in awe at the same time as I was, like, very... I guess I was very standoffish. I, I kind of sat at the one end of the tables and did my thing, drank my beers and all that stuff. And... I got to meet Todd. Todd was fucking incredible. I, I love I love you, Todd. I love your personality. It's fucking wonderful. So we did all that. We had some food there. Uh, I saw Rod was eating some mini pigeon wings. Um, we all drank the beers there. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. And then after that, we all headed back to the massive fucking Airbnb. The biggest Airbnb I've ever seen. It used to be an old bank. There's fucking safes everywhere. It's massive. It's got a basketball court in it. It's got ping pong table, pool table. It's got fucking cornhole. Everything was there. The piano was in there. Uh, there. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. It could sleep. I don't. I can't remember how many beds were actually in that place. But could, it could sleep a ton of people. I'm thinking it probably would sleep two, four, six, eight, twelve people, ten to twelve people. I'm guessing. I'm not 100 percent sure. One shower which sucks, but it is what it is. Everyone takes their time, takes their turns or whatever. And about seven bathroom stalls. It was, it was incredible to see this. It was, it was, it was really neat. And uh, yeah, so we all came back after taps and all, you know, we all started getting to know each other a little bit more and, and playing games, playing basketball, drinking some beers, having a good time. Then I went home, took an Uber back. I took an Uber there. Actually, I got out of work early. That's why I was able to get and meet them at Taps in the first place. Then, we headed in the morning. Uh, so, stupid me, drank too much on Friday night and passed out and forgot to set my alarm. Yeah, go figure. Woke up late, too late to go meet these guys right away in Niagara Falls. So, they went for a walking adventure. Down Clifton Hill, down to check out, you know, all the sites and see what the wonderful Niagara Falls has to offer. It was a blazing hot day. I got there, I realized that I'm not paying $24 an hour to park. 
So I decided to park my car 10 miles away and hoof it all the way down to the falls. And yeah, this video. Okay, I'm in Niagara Falls. Yeah. I woke up too late to meet these guys down by the falls. So I'm playing a game of find the beer tubers here at the world's worst tourist trap. So I tried looking for them, couldn't. I was texting Shane, I'm like, where are you guys now? Where are you guys now? He's probably getting sick of me, you know, saying, where the hell are you guys? So couldn't find them. And then eventually he texted me back and said, we're not at the Canadian Falls anymore. You must have passed us because I was there at the falls looking for these guys. They went back to, yes, they went back and sat at the Niagara Falls Brewing Company. I'm like, really? All right, you guys are crazies. I'm going to check out the worst brewery in Niagara Falls. But whatever. They went, they sat down. I met up, saw everyone. I was like, wow, everyone's got these freaking awesome lime green shirts and that say, you know, the 2024 beer tuber get together shirts. Looked fucking awesome. That was, I was like, oh, I can't wait to get mine. So, Rajay, uh, Brian, Dave and myself, we sat at the distillery right next door, ate some food. They, they had beers on the other side of the alleyway, and eventually everyone headed back up to the uh, to the Airbnb. Um, I think there was a game going on that uh, that Shane created, which was a bingo game, which everyone which had a whole bunch of stuff on their cards of free things to do while you're down there, take pictures of, and check them off. And, yeah, it was kind of neat. I don't know who won that. I really don't. Um, but yeah, so they kept themselves busy. So there was a couple places that uh, Shane needed to take Brian to get a photo of. So then Rod and I walked up Clifton Hill and we had this little interview. Rod, Jay, and I, we're walking up the pole. Walking. Walking. It's, it's hot. It's very hot. Say, so Not you, as hot as in the States, so. No. So how was, uh, what did you think of the falls? Niagara Falls. Oh, the falls itself. Yeah, the yeah, falls yeah. are great. The falls are. It was decent. It was. Uh, I don't know how much I would like from it because I'm not like a usual scenery kind of guy. But it was pretty nice. It was, uh, pretty cool sight to see. Crash that, scratch that off the wonders list. Want to say anything to the boys and the, uh, the beer chat? Yeah. Um, Greg and, and Greg and everyone and uh, and Dan and. As much as I tried, we still got. Snookered into trying Niagara Falls beer. So, <laughs> so it was shit. Yeah, it didn't go over as well with the crowd, but uh, other good breweries were having some good stuff. Um, went to a few of the places up here. Last night we were at Taps. Before that, I went to what's they Bramblewood? Bramblewood? Trying to think of what I went with uh, Ray to. But anyway, we're going to Counterpart. Oh, Brimstone. Brimstone. Went to Brimstone. Yeah. Going to counterpart here in a bit and a few others and yeah, great getting to be with doing. this guy after all these years what? got to connect what? with the man we finally connected yeah <laughs> fucking awesome all right thanks rod bye yeah so it looks like rod was digging niagara falls i mean it was hot it was fucking so hot and i could just imagine everyone just wanted to get back into some cool air so anyway after the niagara falls experience we i went home I went home to shower, get all ready. These guys went back to the Airbnb and had probably a great time. Then we ended up going to the first real brewery. I don't consider Taps a real brewery or Niagara Falls Brewing Company. They went to the best brewery in Niagara Falls next, which was Counterpart Brewing. Yeah, we all had a fucking awesome time. The beers are fantastic at Counterpart. I don't think I heard anyone say anything negative about any of the beers there. I really wish that they didn't mark up like I, I ordered a zombie surprise because I love the smoothie sours but it was marked up because it was a can in-house out of their fridge which is the dumbest shit in the world like fuck I could have just bought a can and went outside you know what I mean and just drank it but I didn't um so after counterpart was the next location and that was over at DQ Brewing uh in St. Catharines and I was never big. I was never a big fan of the Q Brewing. I'll be honest with you. So we got there. Everyone's on the patio. This is probably the most people they've had at the Q Falls Brewing for the longest time, maybe. Uh, or the Q Brewing. Is it the Q Falls Brewing? I can't know. Yeah, it is the Q Falls. Uh, sat there for a while, drank their beers, and I want to tell you guys right now that the Q Brewing has gotten a whole lot better. I don't know if they got a head brewer. That's a change, or what? 
but their cream ale was fantastic. So we went from the queue, walked 50 feet down the street to Cold Break Brewing, which I'm not a huge fan of, but we got there and we sat down and they had the, everything was reserved by Shane. Okay. So it was, everything was taken care of by Shane and Ray. They all took care of reservations and everything like that. So we all had a table, a massively long table. There's some photos I'm going to, obviously you're going to see them as I'm talking. And we ordered some food, had some flights and had a great time there. Actually, I enjoyed cold break, but it, I think the beers were better. Sorry, my own opinion over DQ anyway. But the best one was obviously Counterpart. So then after that, we all headed back, headed back to the Airbnb. I drove home, picked up some beers on my way from at Zares to bring back to the Airbnb. Took an Uber, went back to the Airbnb and just had a fucking blast. We all had a great time. People hanging out, people talking, doing some collabs. And not collabs, but duo reviews and, and, and triple reviews or whatever. Um, yeah, and also during the whole first two days people were doing reviews and 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 doing reviews with other with other beer tubers which was really really nice to see So that was a fantastic night. Next day, woke up massive high hangover again. Yeah, that's what happens. When you drink too late and not enough water, you're getting hangovers. So the next day, we're in we're into Sunday now. Sunday was a fuck. Like today's Monday. Actually, yeah, today's Monday. This was yesterday. It's it's was fucking one of the best days of my life, to be honest with you. I met so many people, I've met everyone finally, and it was a fucking awesome experience, but I'm going too fast and, and ahead of myself right now. So, Sunday, started at 11.30 in the morning at Exchange Brewing, in the Richie classy Niagara-on-the-Lake, downtown Niagara-on-the-Lake. I had to park a mile away, it cost me 10 bucks to park, with coin, I'm surprised they actually took coin in those machines, those ones were usually just like credit card tap or whatever anyway put my coins in hoofed my ass over to the exchange everyone's upstairs everything was reserved we had to sit down we everyone had all the entire upstairs it was awesome uh everyone got a flight a lot of guys had uh a, the triple flight with uh with cheeses some guys uh like johnny was was john anderson drove uh drove fuck, he drank i think he had the six the six sampler flight but um yeah it was a good it was a good time there it is pricey up there and god damn it dave you son of a bitch you paid for everyone there and fucking everyone really appreciated that one and then people threw in for tip which was great uh i didn't have any cash and then i'll tell you what happened after that so we all left the exchange i waited i waited for one beer tuber who couldn't make it until after we left the exchange, and that was Joe from the Beer Patrol. So, Joe and I joined everyone at the Oast House. As soon as he showed up, he said hi to Average Pops. He said, fuck you to Nick. If you guys know who Nick is, that's Maxwell Star, but I digress. Um, so, Joe and I ended up going to Oast House. We got to Oast House. Nick had to... Not Nick. Uh, Shane had to book a tasting which was fine the woman the girl there the barista was not the ex-barista the new 
tour guide or whatever you want to call her it was very knowledgeable in the beers that they were serving we did four tasters uh and then after that we all got outside and you know enjoyed the patio and the outside patio until it started pouring rain which we didn't think was coming but we were just on the edge i guess of a, of a thunderstorm or whatever so we got a little bit of rain and while it was raining we had to say bye to paul Paul had to go home. Uh, he had to drive his, his way back to Pennsylvania. So we all said our buys to Paul, sent them off. See you later, Paul. And then after the Oast House, we went to Silversmith, Silversmith Brewing. And they have gotten better too. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the Black Lager. A lot of people are. Um, they've got another location now in Toronto, which I think is brewing a lot of their beers, like a lot of their hazies and stuff like that. And Silversmith has gotten a lot better, and their beers, their, all their beers are great. They're all great. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the Black Lager, but all their beers were fucking awesome. So we all hung out, had a great time, had some free samples given to us. Ra took care of us. Oh, and oh, I forgot to, to mention this, going back to the Oast House thing. Um, because Dave paid for everybody at, um, at the exchange, I took care of Dave's bill over at host house it was the least i could do and and so i had to even that score out anyway uh okay fast forward silversmith everyone had a great time i actually ran into my niece i should have took a picture with her but yeah she showed up and she was hanging out with her friends she's like oh my god what are you doing i'm like oh we're just hanging out she goes are these all beer tubers i'm like yeah they are and she's like oh my god that's awesome so silversmith was great uh joe actually ran into somebody he knew which was pretty cool so we all chit chatted had a great time drank all the beers and then it was time to go and then it was time to go back to the airbnb so joe came with me in, in the in the subi everyone went back to the airbnb i stole joe and brought him over to my place because we were going to take an uber from my place so i stole joseph and he hung out with me we did a quick review uh he met my brother and yeah, after that, we hit the Airbnb, we took an Uber, went to the Airbnb, and uh, then all the fucking partying started. It was so fucking awesome. This event that, that Shane and Ray organized was top notch. I'm talking everything from all the, all the things that were planned that were supposed to happen actually happened, which is fucking awesome to see. First of all, the catering that these guys took care of was unbelievable. Brisket, we had, uh, I want to say baked potato poutine. We could, you could make your own poutine with the with the baked potatoes and and cheese curds and gravy for all the Americans out there. And then we had massive salads. We had some asparagus, brisket. Like I said, it was fucking delicious. That food was wonderful. I'm so happy and I got to give a massive shout out and props to the cooks and the chefs that were taking care of that. Those two were fucking fantastic. Uh, after that, it was award time. That's right. We didn't think that there was going to be any awards. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm not going to say who won anything. I'm just going to say with this one picture that Shane was hosting it. So... That was uh, that. He uh, he will be editing that one and then revealing that video later. So I don't even want to spoil it at all. Um, yeah, and it was awesome. I I love the fact that I got a chance to do. I think I ended up doing eight dual reviews and then one solo review by myself down in the in the stairwell. Um, and I was so happy that I was able to do that. And I was very very happy. To, to be able to, you know, collab, and not collab, but do a dual reviews with all these fantastic fucking beer tubers out there. I like, I, I'm like taken back on how much of a great time I had at this event. And you know what? I'm probably going to say this multiple times. I really can't wait for next year. I don't know. Well, there's an idea of where it might be next year. I'm not going to spoil anything. I'll wait till that's actually officially revealed. But it's going to be fucking epic. And I can't wait for that. But, um, yeah, I'm very happy that I got a chance, like I said, to meet all you guys out there. Um, I got a chance to, to 
hook up with new friends that I'm going to consider friends from here on in. You guys are all fucking awesome. Uh, we couldn't go put a little damper on this one. Uh, Mal, who was there, imperfectly, cra uh, imperfectly me crafts. She couldn't. Her husband couldn't come over, which sucked. But I found out that today on a Monday, on Monday morning, they went and got went and saw him. So that's fantastic. Um, anyway, I'm gonna end this video. It's already fucking almost 18 minutes long. I just wanted to to give my opinion and my review on this wonderful fucking 2024 beer tuber get together. I'll give it a score in a second. There's a few things I wanted to say right now before I forget and be like fucking what a dick he didn't even fucking say anything I wanted to thank uh, give a huge shout out to Shane and Ray for putting this whole thing together you guys were fucking awesome I wish I wish I could have lent a hand in there and 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 helped you guys out as much as I could I, I wish you guys would have asked me and said Chris you're from the falls fucking you know give us some ideas or whatever I didn't even need to. You guys took care of it. You guys were fucking fantastic. I got another huge shout out to to give to Sue Ann, who is um, Shane's wife. And Shane will, will attest to this too. He will say, he, he, there's no way that this could have happened without her. And she was an angel. Driving people around, making breakfast, driving people around. <laughs> like, she was there whenever Shane needed her. It was awesome she was she took care of everything when it came to that stuff but um yeah anyway i'm gonna end this with my score of the actual get together out of 10 obviously it was a 10 out of 10 it was fantastic probably one of the best weekends i've had in about oh i'm gonna say years years it was so fucking awesome it was such a great experience and like i said i cannot wait for the next one so that's my review, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos and the pictures. Uh, if you guys obviously use them, use the pictures, you do whatever you want. But um, I also wanted to say, if anyone is not subscribed to the people that I listed earlier, rewind the video, look at the logos, listen to the names that I told you who they are, and go sub to these guys because I'll tell you right now, this event, this is my first time at, at the at the get together. This is the third year of it. It has grown exponentially already. I can't I, I can't even imagine what next year is gonna be like. It's just gonna be massive. So if you wanna, you know, I don't know. You, you might get an invite, you might wanna check out do your own beer reviews, and you never know. We want this to grow. I want this to grow. I want to. I just want to make all the friends everywhere. I'm just kidding. Anyway, I'm rambling on. 10 out of 10. It was awesome. Thanks again, Shane and Ray, for taking care of this get-together. I love all you guys that I met this entire weekend, and I can't wait to, get, to see you guys again. All right. Peace out. Bye-bye, guys.